A really interesting quote that my dad's cousin from Italy posted is that we are all in the same storm, but we are not in the same boat. We're all going through this COVID-19 crisis together, but so many people are not lucky enough to have a home full of family. Many people are quarantined alone. Some people don't have the means to have an abundance of food and everything. So I just wanted to offer you guys a few ways you can help. So if you can do one or more things on this list, I hope it brings you a little happiness in helping others and I hope it gives you a little bit of productivity in this very strange time for society. Hello? I meant to film this back when we first got stuck in quarantine, but I procrastinate a lot. Since quarantine just got extended for another 30 days in most places, and for what seems like somewhat indefinitely. I wanted to give you guys some ideas of things you can do while you are still quarantined in your house, but still be productive. I've basically finished all of Netflix and it's possible you have to and need to do something more productive with your time, including ways that you can help other people without strictly just donating money if that's not something you can do at the moment. Sorry if you hear the paper behind me. Um, Every spot in my house is terrible to film in, so I just throw up some white no-seam, but you're gonna hear the, the crinkles of the paper. First things first, if there is one thing that you do off of this list, I think this should be it. YouTube algorithm-wise, I should probably put this at the end, but if this is all you take away from the video, Download the app Charity Miles. It's an app that tracks your walks, your runs, you can even do indoor workouts and raise money that way for every mile that you run, walk, bike, etc. You get to choose a charity that benefits from the money raised. I right now have Wounded Warriors Project in there. Since we've been going on three dog walks or more a day, it's perfect because not only are you exercising your outsides, you feel good, but you're indirectly helping somebody else by walking and having the app track your miles. So. I'll leave the link below, definitely download that app. It's a way that you can help donate to charities without money out of your pocket. Number two on my list is something that I haven't done and I'm sure you all have done in maybe like the first couple days of full quarantine, but I, of course, took the Netflix route. Cleaning out your closet and donating via ThreadUp is another way you can help people during this time. Also, when help yourself to declutter and get rid of this season's clothes before you maybe buy new ones, or just to get rid of some stuff. It's beneficial both to you and the people that are receiving your clothing. You can also sell your clothes on ThreadUp if you'd like to earn some extra money that way. This is not sponsored, but I wish it was. When you go and sign up for your clean out bag, you choose either sell or donate, and it's really up to you. Anything that they can't sell, I think they end up donating anyways. It's another great way to keep you busy and help people in the process. I can't even remember 10 things on a list apparently. Of course, next is donate what you can, whether that is canned goods you can drop off or if your apartment or neighborhood has a little place where you can leave things that other people might not have like toilet paper, masks. Of course, donating money is great, but I understand not everybody can do that right now. Another way you can help people without strictly just giving money is sign up for Nextdoor and be a part of that community. Nextdoor is basically a website where people in your surrounding area all post and ask questions and the way that I tried to help on Nextdoor is somebody posted about needing someone to grocery shop for them because they're immune compromised and because me and my brothers are healthy I offered that we could go and food shop for them. No one has called us yet because a few people answered before us but it's really great if you can offer your services and offer your time like that to help maybe an elderly couple in your neighborhood that can't go to the grocery store because there's an extra layer of danger for them. If you could go and pick up their groceries while you go grocery shop and drop them off for them, it's a great way to do it. I know there's also Instacart, but I think going through next door and posting on there is another great way to help if you're not comfortable doing Instacart. It's also just great to be a part of that community and you get to see what other people are saying about your current situation in your neighborhood or surrounding neighborhoods. And then last but not least, you can foster an animal, which I think is incredible. If I had the chance, I would. My mom would probably kick me out if I brought any other animals home. But if you can foster a pet, any pet during this time, it's such a great option. And it not only brings you joy, but it also gets them out of the shelter. And a bunch of shelters are definitely hurting economically and just having volunteers now. So please foster any pet if you can. 
A really interesting quote that my dad's cousin from Italy posted is that, I'm gonna paraphrase it, but it's basically, we are all in the same storm, but we are not in the same boat. We're all going through this COVID-19 crisis together, but so many people are not lucky enough to have a home full of family. Many people are quarantined alone. Some people don't have the means to have an abundance of food. So I just wanted to offer you guys a few ways you can help. So if you can do one or more things on this list, I hope it brings you a little happiness in helping others and I hope it gives you a little bit of productivity in this very strange time for society. If there are any on the list that you have tried out or want to try out, please let me know. And if there are any that you would like to add to the list, please comment them below in the comments. I hope you guys are all doing well during this time. I'm sending you guys all my love and prayers and I hope that we all come out of this stronger and with a greater appreciation for the little things in life once this is all gone. One more thing that I forgot to add to the list is sending people mail and handwritten notes, but I know that there are groups online in some Facebook groups and Instagram groups I'm in that have been doing like a pen pal situation where you guys send each other handwritten notes and cards and little drawings and it really has helped to bring people's morale up and just happiness. Everyone loves getting a handwritten note in the mail, so if you guys want to do that, let me know. Maybe I can start like a Facebook group. We can start something. If not, just maybe write your grandma a handwritten note and mail it to her. Or the elderly couple that lives down the street that you see, like write them a handwritten note and put it in their mailbox. Maybe with gloves on. I don't know. Be careful. Little kind gestures like that, I think, can make a huge difference. It's something great to do that doesn't involve sitting on the computer, which is... A lot of what I've been doing so anytime I can kind of step away I think it's a positive let me know in the comments if you try any of these or if you want to try any of them and um, let me know how you guys are doing in the comments I reply to every comment so I would love to know how you're doing and how your day went whatever time of day or day you're watching this I hope you guys all stay safe in quarantine I'm probably repeating myself I do it a lot oh and if you do foster a pup or any animal please send me pictures Okay, bye. No one cares. And I'll see you in my next video.